guys, this is Tara with Kitten Sweets and Tarot, and today is another episode of my part of my psychic development series, how to develop your psychic abilities. Before we jump into today's exercise, which I try to do these once a month, I did take a break, however, in January for the 31 Days of Tarot, uh, which was put on by the one and only Ethany, uh, but I'm so happy to be back and doing these. I decided to bring in a little bit of tea. This is a um, I think like blueberry and lavender and a few other things, but it's so delicious. And look, it's Eva and Wally. Oh, <laughs> and it's actually what I got from the dude for Valentine's Day, uh, which kind of goes along with today's episode. Uh, but like I said, before we jump in, let me just talk a little bit about uh, my personal views on psychic ability. So psychic ability, I really just believe that um, what it is, is it, it's just a very natural thing for people. You know, I believe that, you know, plants, animals, everything on this earth has some sort of extra sense <laughs> in order to ensure the survival of the species. So, um, you know, just like when we see like dogs or cats, you know, get, start acting funny, you know, dogs start howling or cats start running in circles, um, just before, you know, a lightning storm occurs or, you know, things like that. It's, um, and we would be like, whoa, how did they know? And it's just their natural senses. They just naturally could sense, you know, the, like, electricity in the air or that there's an impending storm or that there's a natural disaster about to happen. You know, it's just uh, the, the vibes and the feelings that, that, you know, that they're getting um, through their very natural senses, you know, beyond their five senses. It's their extra senses to help ensure their survival. And I believe it's the same thing for human beings. Um, and because it seems kind of like, whoa, how would you know that? Um, you know, <laughs> uh, that I, I think our society has taken this odd look on it and decided to, um, you know, moralize it and, you know, try to uh, make it logical and try to, you know, and, and impose all these thoughts and beliefs on it and, um, and kind of take away from what it really is in my eyes, which is just this very natural thing. So those people that, you know, have a clear audience, clear cognizance, clairvoyance, clairsentience, clairtangency, or clair, I think there's like clair smelling and, and tasting, you know, <laughs> there's all these different clairs, which is actually just different extra senses that people have in order to navigate the very natural world around them. You know, that if we're back in caveman times, I wouldn't say back during the times of the dinosaurs, because really cavemen weren't really around at that time, but <laughs> you know, uh, during caveman times, or, or I would, should say the beginning of our species in order to ensure the survival of that species and that make sure that we didn't get eaten by our predators. Um, and to make sure that, you know, our, our children survived, our family survived, we survived, we had to use, uh, more than what was, uh, given with our five senses. We had these extra senses. Basically that's my thoughts in a nutshell of psychic ability. So, uh, with this series, I am hoping to help bring out what is naturally already a part of you. So not to say I'm like giving you some sort of magical ability or anything, it's already a part of you. Um, and although I do believe some people are born, um, you know, with uh, just naturally better or have naturally stronger abilities, um, that's like with anything. Some people are born like naturally having a propensity towards drawing, you know, that they're, they have, they're, they have a knack for it. Some people have a knack for singing. Some people have a knack for, um, <laughs> you know, learning about cars, you know, some people just, they have their knacks. Um, and so I believe that, you know, just like all these different natural abilities when it comes to psychic ability, some people just have a knack for it. Um, you know, there are some people that have a knack for athletics. They go on to the Olympics Olympics, you know, but they still have to work out really, really hard to get there. Same thing with psychic ability. You could go on to the psychic Olympics, I guess, someday, but you still have to work really, really hard at it. And so I'm hoping with this series to bring out that part of your senses that may not get used very often. And you may find out that, um, 
hey, you know, this is something I had, but I forgot about, or maybe I pushed it away and, you know, and I'm just kind of bringing, helping you to bring something back out again. In this episode, I said that this, this mug was kind of representative of what today's episode is all about. And that's all about the heart. And so, uh, in one of my live chats, I had done, um, I, I call them my spiritual guinea pigs over there. I'm always trying out certain things with them as you know, I think that you guys should, you know, find a group of friends or a group of people that you feel comfortable with, you know, working on these things and that you trust and, and practice with them. You know, it's all about practice. Even Olympians have to practice. People at the, at the, the tops and tops of their fields still practice. There are people who are CEOs of major corporations and they're still trying to learn more so that they can become better and bigger and so um you know if after you know the series i want you guys to kind of practice this a little bit so this is what i did in my last live chat was i um asked people in the chat if you would like me to what i'm going to do is i'm going to tap into your heart chakra i said uh i've never done this before and i'm just gonna see what pops up. So if you're interested and you're comfortable with me tapping into your energy, I was like, just say so in the comments. And I had a few people that were willing to be my spiritual guinea pigs. Um, and so I really didn't know what I was doing at first. <laughs> I was just like, okay, you know, I'm, I'm very good at connecting with people's energy. So, um, you know, whoever the first person was, I would right away um, try to feel a connection with their energy. Um, you know, so to me, when I'm connecting with somebody's energy, it's as if I'm in a darkened club and the music's pumping and I'm looking through the club and I'm pushing past dark figures of people until I feel like I've landed on the person that I'm looking for. And they'll sort of be glowing kind of, you know, in the middle of this club where everybody else seems like a dark figure, but this person will kind of stand out in a certain way. And that's kind of, uh, kind of, I guess the visual representation of what happens when I'm connecting with energy. I'll be like, aha, you are the person I am looking for. They're not the droids you are looking for. Yes, so that is the person I am looking for. Um, so um, once I established that connection, my focus was to just focus on the heart. I focused on either a pink or green thing in the center of their chest, in the center of this energy form that is now before me. Um, and I just focused on it and I was like, okay, let's see what you got, you know, and I just kind of looked in the heart. And from there, I started getting the, um, the mental images, uh, the song lyrics, which I, I my auditory kind of, uh, sounds like, um, you know, Bumblebee from the Transformers, how he talks in different radio stations. Like that's his voice. That's how I hear things auditorily. Uh, it sounds like different lyrics to songs with also like different movie quotes and like I'm very pop culture when I when I hear stuff so <laughs> um so you know I might hear things I might start to feel things I and I might start to just know something automatically about that person but it, it was it was coming from this place that I was focusing on in the center of their heart um and then you know I verbalized it to the people in my chat um every one of them said that <laughs> I was, you know, right, right, hit the nail right on the head <laughs> with a lot of things that were going on in their lives. And I figure that the heart is a pure place to go because you can't hide anything from the heart. You cannot lie to your own heart. It is where I believe, it's just my beliefs, um, the, the purest form of anything lies is within your heart you know it's where your soul uh you know tells the truth about everything it's where nothing is hidden in here um so what i want to do is have you guys try that with me <laughs> so i'm gonna take another sip of tea and i want you guys as you're watching this video to just ground and center however you ground and center <laughs> um, and try your best to connect with my energy and don't worry about like I don't know if I'm doing this right because it's you're just practicing so don't don't worry about any of that just okay I feel like I've connected with your energy okay then that's great then you have connected with my energy and I want you to focus on this kind of glowing pink or green energy in the center of my chest um, focus on it for as long as you want and sit with it 
and whatever comes to you, you start hearing music like in your head, you know how you get a song stuck in your head, it sounds like that. Maybe you start seeing uh, the scene of a movie play out, maybe you uh, start having images pop up, just certain random things floating around in your brain start popping up, you start to feel certain things or uh, like you start feeling a certain emotion. Um, you know, take note of this, take note of all this stuff. So uh, I'm going to sit here for a few minutes and I want you just to focus right here at the end of this. Um, I'm gonna ask that you take your notes and you post them in the comment section of this video. I will then make a part two to this video where I respond to your comments and let you know uh, how, what you felt, what you saw, what you heard, what you smelt, what you tasted, what. <laughs> <laughs> whatever how that connects to what was in here um, because I believe this is where the truest form of us lies is right here so um, you know all my memories all my um, everything about me is is here so uh, I'll be able to tell you you know exactly what it is that you guys were tapping into right here so I'm just gonna sit here for a few minutes and you guys just focus Okay, so pause the video if you wanted to, you know, if you wanted to just try and sit with it a little bit longer. Uh, but please, you know, whatever you jotted down or that you go back and jot down, please place in the comment section and I would love to respond to you in part two of this video. So uh, you should receive part two um, either Monday or Tuesday of next week. All right, so yay, I thought this would uh, just be a really fun exercise for you guys. So I look forward to seeing what you guys got from my heart chakra. <laughs> All right, so I will catch you spiritual homies later. If you guys dug this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to click subscribe and don't forget to click that ding 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 notification bell for more videos just like this. And if you want to catch a reading with me, head over to www.kittensweetsandtarot.com. I'll see you guys in part two. All right, peace, love, and chicken grease. Peace out. <laughs>